Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at the latest release in the Yeti series from Great Divide Brewing. This is Oatmeal Yeti Imperial Stout, coming in at 9.5% alcohol by volume. It's the Yeti Imperial Stout, except this time they brewed it with rolled oats and raisins. A very interesting twist on the beer. Of course, Yeti, as you guys I sure know, is one of my favorite beers. It's one of the beers that really got me into the Imperial Stout style, and to this day, really one of those beers that I will never turn down. They have a ton of variations on this, the Belgian version, espresso, chocolate, just a ton of really good versions that take a solid base beer and actually manage to make it even better. So hoping this one does it. This beer just came out. This is actually bottled June 24th, so very, very fresh. And I gotta give a big thanks to Alex for hooking me up with this one. So I'm excited about this one. Let me get into a glass, let you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Great Divide Oatmeal Yeti. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Oatmeal Yeti. Wow, definitely classic Yeti through and through. Big, 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 big roasted chocolate notes, a roasted barley characteristic to it, slight coffee, cocoa notes. But on this one, you're getting a little bit of dark fruit, kind of an underlying sweetness that you typically don't get in Yeti. But it's working really nice with the big roasty chocolate notes in this one with that dark fruit coming in. A really nice smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Oatmeal Yeti. Cheers. Oh, wow, yeah, that's awesome. Again, right at the front of the tongue, classic Yeti. Big kind of uh, bitterness from dark chocolate, espresso type of bitterness. Lots of roasted character in this one. You know, you get big roasted mar barley notes, um, almost up to the point of being a touch smoky. Middle of the mouth, lots of dark chocolate, cocoa, uh, a little bit of that coffee bitterness kind of lingering in there. Lots of mouthfeel in this one, and that's definitely going to be contributed to by the oatmeal. When you add oatmeal to a stout, it just creates a lot of mouthfeel, a lot of a creamy kind of bodiness to it, and you're definitely getting in that one. Uh, middle of the mouth getting a little bit of that sweetness as well, definitely coming in from the uh, to dark fruit type of sweetness, playing off the chocolate, almost like a raisinette mixed with like an oatmeal raisin cookie. It's just really Really, really nice. Pretty sweet aftertaste. Um, I'm getting more of that coffee, more of the chocolate, more of a, a slight kind of figgy, uh, raisiny, dark fruit sweetness kind of lingering in the back of the throat as well, blending with that nice roastiness from the chocolate and the, the, the dark malts that go into this one. It just really, really works. Again, the best way to describe it is a liquefied kind of oatmeal raisin chocolate cookie. Just awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Oatmeal Yeti Imperial Stout, 9.5%. I think it's a limited release only, so get it if you can, guys. This one's getting an A. Again, they took Imperial Yeti and they just notched it up one. It's very, very subtle what they did to this one. You know, adding the oatmeal by itself would have added some body to it, maybe a touch of sweetness, but that those raisins, adding that dark fruit component really just helped to kind of ramp this one up to make another great offering. 9.5%, it's definitely a sipper, but you don't taste it. It just works with this beer. So many kind of perfect Imperial Stouts component in this beer and then adding those extra elements just always takes Yeti to the next level. Again, one of my favorite beers and this one is no exception. Another killer variation on the Yeti style. So definitely, definitely pick this one up. And again, thank you to Alex for hooking me up with this one. And remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.